This is the assembly phase of a process known as ATLO, which stands for Assembly, Test, and Launch Operations. There are many critical pieces of hardware installed on the spacecraft during the ATLO process. We will highlight the primary instruments used during the spacecraft's journey. First, this is the OSIRIS-REx Thermal Emission Spectrometer, or OTIS. It provides mineral and temperature information by collecting infrared spectral data from Bennu. Next is the OSIRIS-REx Visible and Infrared Spectrometer, or OVIRS. It measures visible and infrared light from Bennu to identify mineral and organic material. This helps determine the best sampling site on the asteroid. Next is the Sample Return Capsule, or SRC. This capsule will house the sample collected from the asteroid. It has a heritage design, meaning that it draws from the design of a former mission, Stardust, which returned a sample from a comet in 2006. This is the Regolith X-ray Imaging Spectrometer, or REXIS. It analyzes Bennu's surface to determine which elements are present and how abundant they are. It complements the function of both OVIRS and OTIS. Next is the OSIRIS-REx Camera Suite, known as OCAMS. OCAMS is actually made up of three cameras that see Bennu as the spacecraft approaches it. Their function include imaging Bennu from a distance of 2 million kilometers, searching for satellites and outgassing plumes around Bennu, and documenting the mission sample acquisition event called the Touch and Go Maneuver, or TAG. Next is the High Gain Antenna, or HGA. This is the most powerful antenna attached to the spacecraft, and it will be responsible for transmitting data once we have reached Bennu. Here is the OSIRIS-REx Laser Altimeter, OLA. It functions similarly to radar, but instead of using sound waves, it measures light waves to determine the spacecraft's distance from Bennu. OLA can take these measurements very frequently, allowing it to create a detailed topographical map of Bennu. Last but not least is the Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism, or TAGSAM. It is a simple sample head with an articulating arm. The arm will extend to contact the surface of Bennu, and then the sample head will discharge a burst of nitrogen gas to push regolith into the sampler's chamber. All of these pieces work together to make OSIRIS-REx the spacecraft that will be breaking new ground once we get to asteroid Bennu. To learn more about the OSIRIS-REx mission, visit our website at asteroidmission.org or follow us on the web 